This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, we are going to create a group item. Now, a group item can be used to quickly enter individual items at once. So, in other words, instead of entering each item individually on an invoice, you can create a group item and enter the group item on the invoice, and it will list all of the individual items that you added to the group. I have already created a group item for our fictional company, Joe's Landscaping. I did that because I want you to see how the group item works, and then I'm going to show you how to create a group item. Now let's create a new invoice and type in one of our fictional customers. Now let's pretend that I did not create a group item for Joe's Landscaping. Under normal circumstances, when a customer purchases red, white, and pink roses, I would have to enter in that information individually. So let's do that. Red, white, and pink roses. Now the items have been listed. But compared to using a group item, it's very inefficient. So to show you how a group item works, I'm going to close this invoice, open another invoice, type in the name of our fictional customer, and in the item code column, type in the name of my group item, which is Group of Roses, press Enter, and now you see all of the items that I added to the group have been listed individually. And that's what a group item does. It allows you to work a lot more efficiently, as well as cutting down on mistakes because you already have the items listed in the group. Now I'm going to show you how to create the group item. So let's close this invoice. Click on the Lists menu. Now one very important thing that you must remember. You must create each individual item in the item list before you can add it to any group. Now if you don't know how to create a basic inventory part item, please go to Lesson 4-2, and there you will learn how to create an inventory part item. Now, to create a group item, click on Item at the lower left-hand corner here, and then select New. Now, once again, the type of item that we are going to create is a group item, so select Group, and give the group a name. I'm going to type in Group of Roses. Now at the bottom of this window is where you're going to enter in each item that you want to be included in the group. Now like I said before, each individual item must be created before you can enter them into the group. Now my red, white, and pink roses items have already been created, so I'm just going to type them in, red roses. At this point I'm not going to enter a quantity, and I will tell you why in a moment, and it's very important that you stick around for that. But for now, I'm going to continue to enter in the names of the items. Once you've entered in the items that you want to be included in the group, click OK to save it, and then exit out of the item list window. And I'll show you once again what it does. So let's create another invoice. Type in the name of our fictional customer. And in the item code column, type in Group of Roses. Now, and if you notice, again, the items have been listed individually. Now if you look in the quantity column, you'll notice that there is no quantity for the individual items. That's because a moment ago when I created the group, I did not enter a quantity amount. And the reason why I did not enter a quantity when I created the group is because that would have been the default quantity. In other words, if I would have entered in 10 for the quantity, the number 10 would have been listed here. But every customer is going to be different, so you're going to have different quantities. Now you can always change the quantity if you want to, so I'm going to close this invoice and enter in a quantity in that group to show you how it works. So click on the list menu, go to item list, I'm going to simply double click the group to edit it. And in the quantity field, type in the number 10, click OK to save it, close out of the item list window, go back to create invoices, 
type in the name of our fictional customer, and once again in the item code column, type in the name of the group, press enter. Now if you look here in the quantity column, you'll see the number 10, which is the default quantity amount for this particular group. But you can change the quantity if you need to. It just depends upon your business practices. One last note, please use this search field right here if you're looking for a specific topic on the website to learn about because there are a lot of tutorials on this website and it'll be more efficient if you search for it or if you want you can simply scroll through each individual lesson. Now that's how you create a group item and to recap a group item can be used to quickly enter individual items at once. If you have any questions please send me an email. Once again my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.